Welcome to the homework for lesson 10. This is module six of first grade. Name first so that you don't forget it later. And complete the number bond or number sentence and drag a line to the matching picture. So if I zoom out for a bit here, you'll see that we have stuff on the right. And we're going to match it up with stuff on the left. But first things first, we're going to complete the number bonds and the number sentences. So here we're looking for a whole of 90 with a part of 30. Well, you might know what's going to be left. Let's see, is this a whole of 90? There's three tens, so that could be 30. 40, 50, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So there it is. That part is 30, and the rest of it is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There we go. So we can match those two up right there. And this one here has... What do we have? Four groups of 10, so that's 40. And this is two groups of 10, that's 20. So it looks like we have parts of 40 and 20. And let's see. And it's going to add up to all of this together is 40, 50, 60. The whole is going to be 60. So we need a number bond. Here we have a number bond with a whole of 60, a part of 40, and we know the other part is 20 because we just looked at that. That's the the bags, the money bags up there, whatever they are, bags of something. Uh, these are dimes, and dimes are worth 10 cents. So these are 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. That's six tens, so that's 60. And then these here are also dimes. That's two more tens, that's 20. So we have parts of 60 and 20. And the whole thing together is, if this is this is 60, we've got 70, 80. So the whole is going to be 80. We're looking for a number bond that looks like this. Um, we're out of number bonds, so we have to look for a number sentence. Uh, this number sentence has parts of 40 and 60. So this won't work. We need parts of 60 and 20. This number sentence has a part of 60. A whole of 80, so that, yeah, 80 minus 20 equals 60. And you can see it's got two tens crossed out for 20, and that's what we're looking for right here. The other number sentence has should have four tens crossed out. So that's why these two won't match up. It has to be these two. And then we just have one of these left here. This is 10 tens, right? So this looks like if I was going to make a number sentence out of this, this would be 100 because it's 10 tens. And what's crossed out? 4 tens, which is 40. And what's left is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we're looking for that. That's what this number sentence should match. 100 minus 40 equals 60. And that's here's the minus 40 and the equals 60. We just need the 100. So let me zoom out so you can see the whole thing at once. There. Now, second page, counting the dimes to add or subtract. Write a number sentence to match the dimes. So you can see the first one, we have an example. There's four tens. That's the 40 plus there's our plus two tens that's the 20 and what is it the total the whole thing is 10 20 30 40 50 60 if you count them all and now here we have crossing out so that's a subtraction number sentence and we see what was our whole what do we have before we crossed out we're going to count everything 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 so we started with 70 
we crossed out two tens, two tens is 20. And what's left? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now this seems to be modeling an addition sentence. And how many tens do we have here? Well, that's seven because it's five and two more. So this is seven, seven tens is 70. And this is three tens here. So this is 30. So it's 70 plus 30. And you can count them all. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. If you didn't already know how to count on from the 70. And this one here, we have a total with some crossed out. So this is going to be a subtraction number sentence. How many do we have uh, that are crossed out? 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are 10. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40 crossed out. So it's minus 40. And we can see how many are left over. These two. So that's 10, 20 that's left over. So it's going to equal 20 left over. And what do we start with? Well, the whole has to be the two parts put together to count everything, including the ones that are crossed out. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We had to have 60 before we crossed out. Six tens before we crossed out four tens. And now we're just filling in missing numbers here. And if it helps you to draw pictures to figure this out or to count up or count or, or count down, then uh, then do it. There's some room here to draw small pictures. You don't have to. Uh, let's see, so 70 plus 20. You might just recognize that looking at these 10 digits, these tens digits here, and think of 7 plus 2 equals 9. And you might be able to, once you start looking at that, it makes a lot of this uh, a lot, it makes a lot of this easier. So something plus 30 equals 80. Count it up. Starting from 30, you need what? 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. That's 510, so that's 50. Uh, this next one, we have 100 minus something equals 20. So if we were looking at their digits, 10 minus something equals 2. Well, we're looking at partners to 10 here, aren't we? 10 minus 8 equals 2, because 8 and 2 would be the parts that make 10. But since we're talking about tens, we really have 100 minus 80 equals 20. So we could have 80 here. Or you could draw 10 quick tens. 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You know you're going to have 20 left in one part. And this is going to be the other part that you're going to have to cross out to have 20 left. And just count it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. These are all different ways that you can use to figure them out. Uh, here we have 30 plus 60. That's good for 90. And 70 minus something equals 20. We could think 7 minus something equals 2. So count it up from, count it up from 2 or count it up from 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That was five tens I needed. 50. 20 plus 40 equals 60. And now for this one here, we're looking, remember in subtraction, this is going to be a part, that's a part, and we're looking for here the whole thing, which is the two parts put together. So this is always going to be, this is going to be the largest number, the one that's on the left of the subtraction symbol. So if the parts are 20 and 60, then the whole has to be 80. And here we're looking for a part. That's our whole. So think what's 90 minus 20. Count it up. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That's uh, 80, 90. That's 7 tens for 70. And 50 plus 50 is 100. That's a good one to just be able to remember because really it's 5 plus 5 5 tens plus 5 tens equals 10 tens it's the same as 5 plus 5 equals 10 except with tens instead of ones